And we are taking a live look at the official NORAD Santa Tracker. Santa is already off and flying, visiting homes in parts of the world where it is already midnight, where it is already Christmas. You can see that just about over Belfast, Northern Ireland right now. We're going to be following his journey all night for you. Of course, Santa has a lot of ground to cover, mm -hmm. and the ground here in Chicago <laughs> will not be covered with snow, Rob Ellis, but no. uh, Santa, the big man, may have to navigate some raindrops before it's all over. Yeah, I think especially later in the day on your Christmas Day, we'll yeah. have some rain. Uh, travel is going to be a concern. You know, today was the fog. Yeah. Tomorrow it's going to be the rain that's going to impact you. So if you do have plans to travel, and even into Tuesday, I think we're going to see some changes in our forecast. I'm starting with a live look around Chicago because things have certainly improved. The good news is we can actually see and use these cameras, although there are still a few at some of the higher uh, building tops that are still within the clouds, but certainly some improvement when it comes to visibility. Meanwhile, the warmer temperatures have really surged in St. Louis for Christmas Eve right now. It is 63 degrees. Temperatures have warmed, but here's the front. You can make it out, uh, and if you can't make it out from that picture, how about this? Yes, the front is showing some rain that's going to arrive here sometime tomorrow. But it's been a little bit delayed and we keep slowly easing the timing back. So I do want to walk you through that. Let's start with where we are temperature wise. It's mild with clouds rolling in and south winds. The temperatures will stay mild even overnight, even for Christmas morning. I think temperatures will be right around 50 degrees. So here's your time stamp. I'm actually going to move out of the way so you can watch that. We'll step through this. If you have plans for tonight, pretty much what you see right now is what you get. I think the fog concerns will stay uh, on the minimal side now compared to where they were earlier in the day and then overnight we'll do about the same. The temperatures may drop a couple degrees, but I think we'll stay right around 50 for our overnight low temperature. Notice the rain is a little bit delayed. I did bring the rain in a little bit earlier yesterday. Now I'm thinking that it's going to arrive sometime between 9 and noon, depending on where you are. Obviously, if you're a little farther to the south and west in LaSalle County and DeKalb, you may see that rain arrive as early as maybe 8 or 9, but I really think through about 9 to uh, midday, we'll see the rain overspread the area. Temperatures will still be into the mid 50s and it will likely continue raining all through the afternoon and even into the early evening. I think by about eight or nine o'clock, this will start to shut down. And after that, we should go with relatively dry conditions, although the roadways will still be wet. Then it's just a matter of when does that front move through? So when does this southwest wind become more of a west wind and drop the temperatures? Well, I think we could be at 50 for midnight Christmas night and then the temperatures may continue to drop all through your Tuesday. So when you look at my forecast for Tuesday and I'll show it to you here in just a moment, you may say 50 for a high temperature, even though it's going to be in the 40s for much of the day. So 50s for all day on Christmas. That's certainly a very mild day. Taking a look at our forecast for the next seven days. It is a downward trend. I have 50 here for Tuesday, but that's early, early in the morning. I think it's probably going to be in the low 40s for much of the day. Chance for a little wintry mix as we cool down for Friday. But I think our temperatures may go back above the average as we head into New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, as the temperatures look to be right around the upper 30s to near 40 degrees. Okay, Rob, thanks very much.